okay <clears throat> so dear friends let's get into the subject very important for the students of final this is strategy cost management and uh, i am going to take up the case studies and uh, the background to this subject is very important for you um the problem with the ca was at that point in time um if you as i explained you from uh, when we were uh, studying in 88 and all that <coughs> they were all problem based mathematical memory based subject and in fact there was a first question for 24 marks and uh, 19 into 4 76 marks you have to answer all only five questions and they used to be only marginal casting decision making like that problem driven calculation oriented subjects thereafter everybody industry was feeling that the chartered accountants are not uh, industry usable of course a ca i can tell you not because i am a ca is one of the best courses compared to anything else <clears throat> because the way in which you are trained um even you say so recently one uh, honorable judge was talking to me he wanted to put uh, his uh, child in the ca and uh, law both he wanted to study then i told law is very easy to pass so why don't you put him in uh, uh, company secretary course and then uh, um cost accounting he said uh, no no not like that company secretary course is very supervision because he is a corporate lawyer he is a specialist in company law so he was a judge no he was telling me that uh, the training given to company secretary course is very superficial i believe whereas a chartered accountant means it's a killing killing course every student who is willing to work hard as a ca will do well there no two opinions so <clears throat> what happened uh, it came up to 2012 same type of coaching same type of because i've been in coaching all the time then during that period there was uh, mr ragu uh, was the president vice president then he became president ragu is from karnataka and he is my student he was my student very nice uh, Uh, boy now is a old man like me so he tried very hard so he was taking lot of inputs from all of us all the professors so i was telling him the costing strategic costing strategic finance these are the subjects you are blindly applying you asking questions uh, which have no pra practical relevance what industry needs is conceptualizing ideas so how will the student apply this knowledge to that you see friends the entire concept of business is value creating value what you are going to study is you are going to study how to create value one is creation of value and then maximization of value ultimate business concept is this so how to create value means success that is how you are going to measure it now value for whom creating value for whom you have to create value to the stakeholders that is the first concept the entire subject is your life whether it is a business political or your real life it's only concerned with creating value so first step is that is success is measured in terms of value second step is whom are you going to create value for whom and who are they are called as stakeholders they are called as stakeholders then who are the stakeholders for a business enterprise it was in a india if you take ambassador car company we are run by birlas 
the stakeholders that time focus was shareholders owners promoters creating value to the shareholders then the concept in the advancements of thinking competition globalization all these things brought in a different range of thinking so first step is customer you have to be customer focused you are now working in a buyers market is so much for the buyer to choose why should he come to you unless you create something value to the buyer he will not come near you therefore customer has become the king we will come to that now is the uh, is purpose of your business is customer the next stage is the employees the staff the workers next third stage is the shareholders so it was a triangle then uh, the business further is getting into globalization worldwide then the question came is environment the government the society everybody are stakeholders and today you need to create what these stakeholders want and how are you delivering that value to them what are the key performance indicators over which you can um, measure them and broadly friends i am going to take 19 19 case studies kindly go through that material 3 material 3 9 case studies that's what i am going to take up and just let's go through that case studies that i'm going to talk to you first one is value chain analysis balance score card key performance indicators then value chain analysis porter's value chain model versus value shop model and porter's five forces divisional transfer pricing we discussed transfer pricing already business excellence model supply chain management kaizen costing total productive maintenance six sigma and costs of quality environmental management accounting ethical and non financial considerations balance score card building block model performance prism traditional accounting framework versus tbl framework performance measurement mean not for profit sector competitive advantage and control systems beyond budgeting control through standard costing <clears throat> these are the case studies that i am going to talk to you now friends again and again i am telling you the purpose of business is create value if you are valueless nobody wants to come near you remember results will speak in terms of creating success success will speak in terms of creating value then question is who are the value stakeholders the stakeholders starting from customers employees society environment that is society and government all this you cannot just to live in isolation you cannot live in isolation so remember this your relevance will be there only when you do all these things next next situation you are there is value to be created value to be sustained and maximizing the value three concepts success is not it's a dynamic process you cannot say i'm very successful today tomorrow it will be assured no you have to you have danced yesterday very well doesn't mean you should depend on that laurels like congress party you understand so a business strategy how are you manage a uh, creating it's all common sense friends logic and common sense but we are going to use the modern business tools we are going to create modern business tools actually friends there are two different types one is the business concept creating value In level 1 what are required for you if you want to learn you go to ramayana you go to mahabharat go to bible everything is told there but that is a general philosophy 
we are coming to with mahabharat and ramayan you cannot create a um, weapon can you create uh, weapons <coughs> by reading ramayan but but ramayan will teach you how to use the weapons when to use the weapons you understand if you take uh, uh, russia very important worldwide impact is going to happen why they have fought with this in a modern environment it's not correct and they have already 25 days what are they doing they may end up in ruins you can see as the days come in i'll talk to you about it how strategically he has failed what is the reason means you go to rama and rama and will tell this fellow is like ravana sur one man he will not listen to anybody so whatever he says others should say yes autocratic type dictator but in a in such situations you know you we are india is a parliamentary democracy even if the anybody wants to create hatred and create, become a um, the dictator it is not possible in the indian system is different so therefore this is how strategic analysis for that analytical warfare you need uh, techniques you need brass track computer i want to start i cannot go and tell ramayan and computer will start no so i need to know how to operate the computer so that is the point one i hope you all understood so case study means application of the knowledge you have got in a given different situations you can see anil ambani is there mukesh ambani is there same environment in which they grew father gave lakhs of crores one fellow has become pauper another person became jailed how what is lacking or what is uh, there plus points that is the subject the strategic is a more technically i am going to analyze each and every subject that means i am assuming you will know i mean of course i'll teach basics of balance score card creation of key performance indicator business excellence models but in a practical environment how it can be applied is what is going to be the subject and 80% friends i will be exam based 80% i am going to be exam based first i should see how to read the question case study will be given to you in the examination time is very important how will you read that how to read it and quickly answer those issues what is that fellow asking in the examiner and what answer you have to give i am going to focus only on that because this exam driven subject but 20% i want to create a thinking in you a valuable thinking in you so that you can become great leaders you can become great leaders i'll before i close this particular session and start with the topic straight away i'll give you a simple example friends <clears throat> you can see don't think i'm talking politics and all ultimately politics and business business is politics you have to cut down the competitor and grow and uh, by several ways understand so how will you do it that is why we need to analyze what will be the impact of russia ukraine war for several stakeholders will be there india china all of them will be watching what what went wrong for russia they are the second largest in the warfares after america um the russians are not like america because anything goes wrong with them world bans them then they will become penniless business will die the economic activity is the only key for anybody to survive we want to eat nobody eats bombs can you eat bomb and if people go against that fellow he will die will be killed so therefore the lessons for all the other nations how to fight a war why it has been a failure our success how it impacts and uh, everybody is going to analyze from their own perspective america 
India. What will happen if China attacks India? And what will happen? Pakistan attacks India, or India wants to attack Pakistan at the time of elections to win the election. Uh, India will do that. So, how it will be boomeranging and all these things? What will be the impact? What are the lessons? Entire West, all people will be studying an event. Success, there is a lesson. Failure, there is a lesson. We have to keep studying, updating ourselves in this environment. You take uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Mr. Rahul Gandhi. And he is in the fifth generation. A Congress party, friends. You don't buy, think of this Congress, existing Congress, where all old leaders and there are no cadres, a headless organization. Whoever is available, they go on praise this Rahul Gandhi, who is a fool. Understand, he is nothing but uh, a person who doesn't know anything, like a child playing in the sands. Such a big party fought for freedom of our nation, a liberal party. We can think liberally, we can talk, we can express our views. Now you can see authoritarian uh, regime, you know what's all happening. Entire nation is scared, division, hatred. So the opposition is very important. The existing ruling party is strong, but opposition also should tell them these are all mistakes. And this fellow, when 12 crore people voted for him, he resigned. Every time he is going to Italy or Bangkok, like a child, such a massive organization now completely finished, it cannot be revived, it is just in the deathbed, talking nonsense and does not know anything, then why do you want to hang? And there are no other leaders because they, they all depend on the charisma of these uh, fellows. So, eventually death has come and revival is impossible unless something, it is not possible, that is all. New parties will come in. New parties will like up and all slowly is coming. And uh, this is another lesson. Understand? So, that is, uh, your ch you, you, when you grow up, your real investment is your children. A properly gov governed children learn, they work hard, their nation is benefited, this fellow does not work hard. Now you take uh, DMK party, that is also a, a big party, social, um, you know, focus is on uh, low, lower classes, middle classes, their problems, social justice, people will talk, but you see that leader, how he, 10 years he was not in power, he was fighting against the strong, Modi government can do anything, and then local government doing everything what they say, corruption, but he won. Two things happened, you should learn from him, just winning normal, with 32 percent vote, against very difficult odds, 10 years he kept the party intact, the, the concept of social justice, he believed in this. And he won, and his conduct, you know, he won now 50 percent votes. Conduct. People are confident. See, today in this environment, we can't go to reforms. But when you see some leader is good, we all want to vote for him. That is the. These are all lessons. So now I'll start with a total quality management and uh, the related concept. I repeat. My concept is not going to, already it is discussed, total quality management by another professor. So I am going to see how it is applied in a business environment and how to, how to face the exams when the case study comes, exactly 16 case studies, uh, two will come from this book only and how will you write them, that is the subject. So let us start, any questions from your side first I will take and thereafter I will uh, move to the next one.